Good morning, Cougars. It's Mr. Martinez. Uh, welcome back, everybody. I know we've been gone for two weeks. Uh, starting today, I'm going to be doing the morning announcements. We're going to try to have some normalcy and try to have things as, uh, as they used to be, as close as we can, uh, using technology. Uh, every morning when we're at school, first thing we do is the flag salute. So I'm going to try to put a flag on the screen here. Let's see if that works. Uh, boys and girls, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may have a seat. Uh, welcome back. It's been two weeks since we've been together. Um, I'll give you a little quick update uh, at my house uh, since we went on this school closure. Uh, my daughter has come back from college. My son has um, temporarily moved back in with us. Uh, so everybody is in the same house and uh, our dog Teddy's been getting a lot of attention every day and we kind of spend most of our time doing uh, work, and, you know, puzzles and playing games, probably some of the same things that you're doing in your house. Um, hopefully uh, you and your family have all been healthy and uh, your extended family as well. I'm sure that you've had close uh, communication with everybody in your family and um, uh, just know that my thoughts and our prayers go out to everybody uh, who could be affected by the virus. Now let's talk about the virus because we didn't really get a chance uh, before we went on vacation, not vacation, but on the school closure to discuss what was really happening. Uh, I put on your screen uh, this chart and boys and girls, this kind of explains why schools were closed two weeks ago. If you look at this chart, uh, this dotted line here shows you uh, what our health system can handle. This means all the hospitals and all the doctors, how they can maintain when people get sick. When this virus started to spread around the world, it's called a pandemic, meaning that it's all over the world. Uh, it was getting to a point where there was the potential that so many people could get sick that our healthcare system, our doctors and our hospitals couldn't be, wouldn't be able to, to handle that many people. So if you see this group here, this shows without protective measures, if you're not closing schools, if people aren't washing their hands, if we're not practicing social distancing, then we could have uh, a high number of people that become sick and there's not enough space in the hospitals to help all them. If we close schools, if we do wash our hands, if we practice social distancing, if we stay home, this blue area here that says with protective measures shows that the healthcare system, our doctors and hospitals can handle the amount of sick people uh, that could potentially impact uh, their services. So for that reason, uh, schools were closed and they're gonna remain closed at least now until May 1st. So that means we've got another four or five weeks where you're gonna be at home, uh, you're gonna be with your parents, uh, I suggest that you keep a regular routine like you normally do when we're in school. For example, this morning I got up, I shaved, I, I made my bed, uh, had a little breakfast, and now here I am talking to you. I got the newspaper. You can see that's this morning's newspaper for uh, Monday, March 30th. Starting today, your, your parents have been in contact, hopefully, with their teachers about some new instruction that's happening uh, as we move forward for the next four or five weeks. I'm gonna ask that every morning, if you'd like to keep things as normal as possible, then you go to the YouTube channel where you're at right now, and you click on the day's uh, morning announcements. Every day, if, if you go there, you'll see playlists, you'll see Martinez's morning announcements on the left side. When you click there, you'll see by, hopefully by 7.30 every morning, I'll have the new morning announcement already posted there for you to watch as you start your day. But I recommend get up, eat your breakfast, make your bed, uh, put some clothes on, uh, watch the morning announcements, and then start to tackle your day. And you, you start to accomplish a lot first thing in the morning, boys and girls. Uh, and if you keep that morning routine, uh, I think you're going to feel a whole lot better about staying connected and staying on top of things. And before you know it, this is all going to be over and we're going to be back at school. Uh, so one of the things we normally do is a weather report. I'm just looking at the weather report now for Studio City. We've got great sunshine all week, 72 degree high. It's going to be warm weather, which is great because uh, uh, supposedly the virus does not like warm weather. So bring on the hot weather, right? Um, we are 
going to uh, start this new way of learning, as I was just telling you, uh, pretty much online or using some of the materials that your parents were able to retrieve out of your classroom. Uh, we're going to be able to get through this. You're going to be able to do it uh, together with your parents, your teacher, and myself, uh, all of us working together. Um, we're going to make it. We're going to be just fine, boys and girls. Uh, every morning, I'd like you to start right here. And as we always do, we always end with the words of wisdom. So let's keep things consistent, right? Uh, boys and girls, there are many choices that you, as a young person, haven't been able to make. You didn't get to choose your brothers or your sisters. You probably didn't get to choose your home or your school or your teachers. You surely did not get to choose that we were going to be home for five, six weeks doing instruction remotely from your, from your kitchen table or your desk in your bedroom, right? But there's one thing you do get to choose every single day. So there's one thing that you absolutely have control over, and that is your attitude, right? Listen to this American proverb. This is a famous American proverb, and it goes like this. An optimistic attitude, so a positive attitude, is half of success. Listen to that again. An optimistic attitude is half of success. That means that an optimistic attitude is a positive attitude. When you choose a positive attitude, you naturally choose a more successful life. It's a simple idea, but just try it. In fact, try having a more positive attitude towards school and maybe this new type of learning, and you'll just see some great effects of that uh, and the work that you're gonna do and how quickly time goes by. Boys and girls, uh, with something to think about, First time ever I've done the words of wisdom uh, through YouTube. Uh, this is Mr. Martinez. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.